a fashion illustration themed video and um, we learn together. So let's do it. Last Monday, when I do mixed media projects on Monday, I did this washi tape um, inspired, I use washi tape as like collage elements and did some really cool things with washi tape and I thought I would do the same thing today in our fashion illustration project. I have, have been reaching out to people and asking what would you like to see for Fashion Fridays and I've had requests for accessories, more shoes, and um, obviously just keep progressing on our journey for, towards being awesome fashion illustrators. So today I found, well I've had this calendar, um, actually since 2014 evidently and I've never done anything with it. I've always been inspired by fashion illustrations and I'm just getting back into it now between 2017 and 18. So I thought today I would use this page as inspiration and recreate it in my art journal that I'm working in which is this 11 by 14 Strathmore journal and um, use that same washi tape technique and if you don't know what I'm talking about you can refer to the video C card here boop, 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 boop. or maybe it's here or here um, there'll be a link to that but if you want to go back and watch that you can but we're gonna be using that same washi tape technique to make a fun spread in our journals. You ready to get started? Let's go. And before I forget, all of these videos, this will be the 24th video in the series, which is really hard to keep track of on YouTube. If you want to hop over to awesomeartschool.com at the end of this and sign up for the full illustration course for beginners, it is kind of expensive because it's a dollar. Really, it's just a dollar. So, hope you sign up and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's check out this spread. We have a purse, we have a necklace, sunglasses, shoes, I don't know, and dress. So I'm gonna recreate this same spread in my art journal today. Again, working in my Strathmore. This is mixed media paper, so I know it can hold up to the X-Acto knife that I need to use to cut that washi tape out with. Um, let's see, I'm going to start with my mechanical pencil, 0.7, I have a new set, which is Penton Graph Gear, which I freaking love, and let's get started. So I'm going to recreate this, I haven't even picked out my washi tape yet, but that's okay. Alright, so I think on the right side of my page here, I'm going to do a, like a dress form. I love drawing these, I'm not that good at them. Um, but I do, let me move the camera over here, cut off some of these. So hard to get lighting correct in your, when you're in a studio and I rely on artificial lighting for everything. A little tricky sometimes. All right, so let's see, we have our dress form. And if you don't like this one, look at all these cute dress forms, actually. We can do any of these. So you can also like go on Pinterest. Oh, this one's so pretty, I'm gonna do that one. Go on Pinterest and find one that you like. I'm working strictly from this calendar. I would tell you where I got it, but again, it's four years old. So there you go. Let's see, we have this little like ball thing. The neck. Oop, that's terrible. You know what, this, these dress forms are just like drawing vases. Like they're, <laughs> they're hard because you have to be symmetrical on both sides or like drawing wine bottles, you know, like getting them equal on both sides is the, is the hardest part. This dress is so cute though. Whoop. And then it's like the shoulders kind of go out. Oh my God, I'm doing a terrible job go out and then they like come, they like get chopped off here at the, at the sides, right? And then they come in and then the dress, I'm doing this one right here, kind of goes out and out. It's like the boob portion, I'm sorry, I'm kind of just crass as like a rule. You can ask my kids, they'll tell you. So we have the boob part and then See, and this is the grace part about doing dress forms too, is you don't have to even worry about anything. You just draw like the dress. Oh, this comes in like this, and this, oops, and it comes in like this, and then can come out. And I'm gonna use up this entire eraser in my first project. 
Oh, what would we do without erasers? Seriously. That was like a big giant oops. And then we can kind of just put a bottom on it and then like the bottom. I love the little bottoms too. Look at all the little swirlies and dip de doos Pick any one of those that you like. And let's see, this one's kind of short, so I'm gonna like, whoop. Oh, it's so sweet. And it's all wonky and who cares? Whoop. It like doesn't even make sense, but I don't care. Okay, moving on. What else are we gonna do? We're gonna do a shoe. Let's put the shoe, I can put like the necklace. You know what I might do is have the necklace like dangling down here and I just had an idea. Okay, I know you guys know I have like a ridiculous art book library, but I, not kidding, I love children's drawing books too. So this is the Usborne book of drawing, doodling, and coloring fashion, which I bought years ago. There are some great, look at these spreads. I mean, there's phenomenal ideas in these guys. Oh, love. And that's why I buy these, just good solid inspiration. Look at all these dress form. They give you like a ton of prompts. Love it. Ooh, and these pocketbooks and purses. Like so fun. And, oh, this is what I was looking for. Look at this page of like stringy blingy. Let's talk about accessories. So we could combine this with our little washi tape technique somehow. These are a lot more detailed. Well, what if we just do like a, something like this and the center can be washi tape and then we can like doodle, doodle on there, doodle doodle do. And then we have like, this can just be a dangling, you know, and you can trace. Like maybe I could trace my washi tape to get a good circle going. See, washi tape is good for so many things. <laughs> you don't even know. There we go. We have a necklace ready to go. Now let's try, we need a shoe. Some cute little platform thing over here. So let's see, we have the back of the shoe, and I did the shoes, and how to draw feet and shoes was last week's. And again, if it's too hard to find, I would just head over to Awesome Art School. And YouTube is like so amazing, but at the same time, sometimes it can be like overwhelming. Change these up a little bit. Maybe we'll have like the zoop. Just kind of going rogue today. And then the base of the shoe, the platform, if you will. Oh, the downside of this book is that it's so big. It's hard to fit it all in. See that? Yes, barely. And then it comes up. And then there's like the, I guess you could even just have it bare. You could have it cut out here. So, you know, the foot just takes up that part and then this part is solid and then your little toe sticks up at the end right there. Oh, that's fun. Okay, there's our shoe. Now we need a pocketbook or purse. I don't particularly like this style, but since I saw that collection of purses in here, I'm gonna grab one from there that I liked better. So I know Pinterest is great, but I like love a real book. So, oh, look how cute. Look how cute. This one with the little chain. Oh, I like this one. Look how cute that is. I and mean, even the little stands that it's on are freaking adorable. So maybe we can put our little purse here. Here's like the upper, oops, sorry, clutch part. And then there's like a parallel line down here and then it kind of bows out. Like this. And then there's some holes here and like the loopy 
handles. There's like two handles or a hot mess, whichever way you're drawing it. And there's the little clasp. And it looks like there's like a double line here. Okay, adorbs, adorbs. All right, now, visually speaking, you should even elements don't look good on a spread. So you want to hit for either one, three, five, seven, so on. So this is like two, ugh. So we're gonna need to add a few more things. I kind of do love the sunglasses. Maybe the sunglasses are going this way or we could have like another, each page just needs one more element to kind of balance it out. So let me look in here. Oh, even like the nail polish is so cute. Oh, the ring, that would be cute having a ring over here of course it's tiny but maybe there's two rings so and I'll zoom in because I'm way zoomed out so you can see this here so for a ring we could have say like a bigger shape because I don't work well small and then we have Like that, and that can be a ring, and then maybe there's another one, like bigger. Kind of like that. We can get our like paint pens out if we want to. And again, that kind of would be better if it was three. So maybe we should do another one. Oh, or we could have like a necklace like lying around like, oh, I'm a necklace. And then again, have like, you know, that be like a washi tape, something there. And we could even have like a necklace coming whoops back around here maybe it's going behind the purse and it's like dangling down here now i think i'm going to do a combination of the washi tape and the watercolor which is what i did last week in that same project I keep referencing. So like this is all the washi tape, washi tape, eyes, mouth, shirt, and then the, everything else is watercolor. So this would be a great combo for this also. All right, so I need the last element <clears throat> for those, uh, that page. Ooh, I could do gloves. We could do another shoe. Ooh, perfume bottle. Oh my God, you guys, so awesome do bows but I do like the sunglasses I think that's like a that would be kind of neat maybe it spans like across the pages as well so this is probably another hard one because <clears throat> you want them to be uh, it's hard to get them like even but we could go like this way perhaps here's our sunglasses there's some thickness there. Whoop. Maybe those are like, I don't even know. It's going to make like cat eyes, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, oh yeah, and then just ends. Kind of just ends. You don't see that part, and then you just see the bottoms like poking out. That doesn't really work. It's like shoved under the page. So I'll just leave them like that. Kind of racing today. As usual, we have nine million things going on. I really should have not started in this business until after my kids were grown and gone. <laughs> Trying 
trying to fit in all these videos and courses and write books and do all this stuff when you're also actively parenting is kind of stupid. But I just can't help myself, you guys. It's just so fun. All right, maybe we can see the back. I don't know, something like that. We'll make it work once we add all the different stuff. All right, so now we start our washi tape. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. Look at this pretty pink. So, dig in your washi stash. This is like super not rocket science. What I love about this is that I have so much, wa look at my washi tape collection. That's just ridiculous. And I don't really use it. I use it a little bit for like framing out my edges in my journals and everything. Oh, that's pretty too. Maybe I'll do this one. But honestly, it is a lot of tape. And it's not cheap either. So it's like, if you're gonna go ahead and buy all that, you might as well use it, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna span it across. Ooh, maybe I'll have a different one on the bottom. <clears throat> you're gonna do the whole subject and then you're gonna take an X-Acto knife and trim the edges. Oh, I have like so much left over. All right, now someone in one of my groups or on YouTube, I forget where, somewhere on Facebook, someone said, that's gonna cut the paper, that doesn't work. But I like, I really, I've done it, and I'm telling you, it doesn't cut the paper. Um, just don't press down like insane, but you can press down and it will not, especially if it's thick mixed media paper or watercolor paper, you are fine. So I'll probably time lapse the rest of this or the, you'll, we will be here all day long. So get started, go get your washi tape, and let's make a beautiful, beautiful page. All right, let's go. Right, guys let's watercolor this in now as you know I've been playing and experimenting a ton with these um, handcrafted watercolors from Xanadu studios and I am going to be doing a giveaway next Friday so make sure you tune in to um, to next Friday's fashion tutorial because we will be I will be announcing the details of how that giveaway is going to work. I love these watercolors genuinely. They have uh, this sparkle to them, which you, I cannot find in a store. I mean, seriously, I think some super, super duper high end um, Daniel Smiths have like a shimmer to them, but honestly not like you see with these which is crazy because they're handcrafted, they're handmade, and they are honestly gorgeous. So I have this beautiful sample set, and the ones that I'm giving away is this little set of four, and there's a really good, decent amount of sparkly yumminess in these. So it's sort of like the primary set, so you can make all your colors from there. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna finish my fun journal today with some more of her colors. Whoops. And again, my page is so big, it's cutting off. So I hope you had fun. If you journaled along with me today and did some of your own fashion, fashion, bling i would love to see what you got going on if you want to share it in the facebook group just head over to awesome art school the facebook group is literally called awesome art school because art school should be nothing but awesome and it is so 
I'm also, if you haven't signed up yet for my free monthly tutorials, I know I like to give things away apparently, but seriously, it's an entire classroom filled with actually full length tutorials that you cannot find on YouTube. I like to spoil my people that sign up. So you can head over there this month's tutorial is this adorable mixed media fox. Actually, he's right behind me. I can show him to you. This is what we're gonna be making and I just uploaded that video today. So you can go on there and um, it's absolutely free and sign up for, it's called monthly mixed, uh, monthly tutorials. I know, it's a really fancy name. But it's totally free, come on by, you can download lots more vids and yeah check it out dudes oh my god this page is so happy I'm loving it let's see this necklace we don't have any blue well, I don't have any blue rocking this beautiful blue oh yeah and then we have our like ring up here maybe that can be let's see what else she just gave me like the most generous little box of goodies to try out. I wish you could pick up the glimmer on the camera, but all of her, all of her little watercolors have this beautiful sparkle. Like seriously, does that? Boop! Too much. Too much. So, anyways. Hope you enjoyed today's little live, not live, <laughs> this little fun class we did. If you did, smash that like button. If you want to see me do something for next week, you can just leave that in the comment section. And I would encourage you to subscribe. Some people aren't aware that if they don't subscribe, they will be unable to find what is going on subsequent weeks so just make sure you take a minute to subscribe so you don't get lost in the YouTube algorithm of abyss <laughs> right subscribe just means when I post videos or when anyone on YouTube posts videos you will get a notification for that so that you can go back and just click a button and get right back to uh, the new videos that come out every week you know what I think this page is missing is like just some, ooh, my brush is way too wet. Is some, you know, we need some like sprays and splashes of accessory goodness. That's a thing actually. And then I might just doodle on, whoa, yeah. Get this party started. Doodle some more with my graphite pencil. Yes, and call it a wonderful, wonderful day. guys so pit pens as you know I use all the time in my mixed media work evidently works fantastic on washi tape yay so you can blend to your heart's content